Hi and welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss effective and nominal interest rate. Now what does the following mean? So nominal is what the bank is giving us and effective is what do we actually get. Now if you take the previous video where you had done two similar questions but one was compounded monthly and one was compounded yearly you would notice that the answers are totally different. Now let's take the one where we calculated it monthly. What was the effective interest rate? When you're calculating effective interest rate we're going to use the formula 1 plus i effective is equal to 1 plus i to the power of n. i nominal is what the bank is giving us and n is the adjustment we're going to make. But what is important when we're using this formula? Interest is calculated on a yearly basis which means that when we make the adjustment we are also making the adjustment for a year. So if they tell you I invested the money for three years it doesn't matter you are only interested in the interest rate for one year. Now, when they gave us this interest rate in the previous video, we had worked at 8% monthly. So we worked at 8% and we worked on it monthly. Now what does that mean? Our I was 8 over 100 divided by 12 and our N was 1 year times 12. Now I'm emphasizing again that when we are working interest rates we are working with 1 year. Now let's go and substitute. We know that this is equal to 1 over 150 and this is equal to 12. You had calculated it in the previous video where you got 1 over 150 and here we only times 1 by 12. Now substitute what we have. We have 1 plus the effective interest rate is equal to 1 plus our i is 1 over 150 to the power of 12. To get our interest rate alone we're going to take the 1 over minus 1 which gives us 0, 0,82999. Now notice I'm not stopping at 82. When you're doing the interest rate or when you're doing any financial bets, round off in the beginning till at least five spaces and later on round off to what they require like one decimal or two decimals. Now this is what we would call the effective interest rate. But remember in the beginning, the percentage is over 100. So we have the interest over 100. So we're going to times it by 100. So our interest rate is 8,3%. What that means is, let's take the question where we have our pain. We don't want to do an adjustment. Our interest rate is 8,3% and our N is 3 years. Now I'm doing the same sum that I've done here where we had compounded monthly but I'm not doing it with adjustments. I'm not changing my 12 and I'm not changing my 36. But what I am changing is putting in the effective interest rate. What did I actually get? Now substitute into the formula. Twelve thousand seven hundred and two rand thirty nine cents. Look at the previous one. Twelve thousand seven hundred two rand. Twelve thousand 
702 ren and 37 cents. Now, the method that I have done here is not a method that we usually use. You can, but I don't encourage it. I prefer that you change the I and N as required and you simply calculate it. To use this method, you first have to do effective interest rate, then you go to your pain, which is too much work for three or four marks. The only time you would use effective and nominal interest rate is when they specifically ask you, calculate the effective interest rate. Then you would use this formula. The standard formula In many books, you would see it over 100, but I believe that you should know that interest comes over 100, so I don't encourage that. Okay, so the standard formula for effective interest rate is 1 plus i is equal to 1 plus the nominal i to the power of n. This formula is not given in the formula sheet. You would have to memorize it in order to be able to, to do it for the exams. The effective interest rate is 14.4%. Calculate the nominal interest rate if it was compounded monthly. So the formula is the same. Our substitution, we're going to have 1 plus 14,4 divided by 100, which is 18 over 125 is equal to 1 plus i to the power of, since it is monthly, our n is going to be 12. Now it is a matter of algebra. You're going to 12 root, and what you do on one side, you do on the other side. Take the 1 over, so I'm going to subtract, so I'm going to say 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, subtract 1, which is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2 is equal to i. Now we know the interest rate. What happens to the interest rate? Since it was compounded monthly, in the beginning you would have said the interest divided by 12. So here we have the same thing. This i is actually the interest over 12 times by 12 times by 12. So we're going to times it by 100 because interest is over 100 and we will get 13,5. So the interest rate was 13,5%. Effective was 14,4. And nominal, which is what the bank offered, was 13,5. Thank you for watching.